Hello and welcome back to Mondo 8-Bit. It's the turn of the last piece from the first donation. This poor, poor beaten up Vic 20. Missing the key. It's very yellow and I don't know if it works or it needs uh, some restoration, some repair. So, Let's try and see if it works. Power shut. Yeah, it's working. The Vic turns on, but the keyboard needs a good restoration because not every key works. What I need to do now? Crack it open, give it a good, a very good clean. Try to retrobite the case, clean and repair the keyboard. And then test it. It is a short board. We can say goodbye to the cardboard. Goodbye. Removing the label with the hot air and under it we can see the real color of this Vic 20. Before the much needed retrobrite, it's time to give a good clean to the case. Then I'll take care of the keyboard and all the keys. As usual, I put all the keys in a bottle with water, soap and some alcohol, then let them soak for a while. This is the boring part. Remove all the screws. Now I can replace the broken plunger with a good one. Some IPA to clean the board. And the last thing is something I learned from my grandfather take a pencil and scrub it over all the plungers this helps a lot to make a better contact and while I'm retrobiting the keys I cleaned all the keys this is how the keys look after a whole day under the sun I would call it almost perfect. Tomorrow it will be the turn of the of the lower one. I finished with the, the retrobrite and the, the case came out way better than before maybe it's not really perfect but i think that the result is okay for me i took the missing key from a spare keyboard and now i can put back all the pieces together oh yeah Working, working, all the keys works, but there is a big problem with the serial port. Try again. Okay, I should have fully tested it before. So, the first thing that comes to my mind is to change the 6522 that controls the serial port. In this motherboard is labeled UAB3. I quickly removed it from the board and changed it with a known good one. 
I don't know why, but I've plenty of this. Whoops, no changes whatsoever. At that point, I must look at the schematics. And even without the scope, it's possible to guess where the problem is. The 7406, an X inverter. So I desoldered it from the board and test it with the Mini Pro. Now I can close the Whitmary for good and put back the label on the case. Looking good, I'm happy with it. It's nice, it's clean. If you find this video interesting, subscribe to the channel if you want to put a like and if you have any comment please write down thank you see you soon